Well, first of all, just to correct you, my experience was excellent, <laughs> not just good. <laughs> so I was lucky enough, uh, as I tune in usually every morning to breakfast television, back in uh, February time frame, I saw an interview with your uh, executive director, uh, Dan Kershaw. And as it turns out, my mom had just passed away and uh, what he talked about resonated because we were looking for a way to donate uh, some of her furniture for somebody to use. During the pandemic, uh, it became more and more difficult to even donate um, any goods or materials or furniture to anybody, uh, even other charitable organizations. The fact that uh, Furniture Bank uh, was a registered Canadian charity uh, based on what I saw on the website that operated for the better part of 20 years plus. Uh, and uh, I thought that it was a way that we could at least uh, pass on some of my mom's furniture, gently used furniture, to others who uh, would be in need. And I know that my mom would have liked that. Uh, she was always a giving person. Uh, and, you know, it really was helpful as well. And I made the first contact that the individuals I had talked to in customer service and so on uh, were extremely courteous and helpful, made the, the uh, initial contact uh, very easy. And aside from that, once we started to uh, execute on the uh, service, uh, the drivers, the trucks, uh, et cetera, uh, were all professional. And the fact that I was getting a tax deductible receipt uh, was also a bonus. The other part that interested me uh, when I thought about it was that, you know, any of those surplus furniture and goods uh, that go to people who will use them uh, would likely still have a financial site and therefore also has a secondary effect of, it, of also helping the environment. So that, that was important to us as well.